Time. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to Time with the Durbins. Okay. okay. Hello everyone, I'm Mark. I'm Diane. And welcome, and welcome to, to Time, Time with, with the, the Durbins. This is our first YouTube video. As you can see, we're struggling a little bit. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Mark. I'm Diane. And welcome, welcome to, to Time, Time with, with the, the Durbins. We created this YouTube channel to share some of our life experiences. We've been very fortunate over the last four years to, to have had a lot of different opportunities to learn different fields, anywhere from metalworking to woodworking to construction, um, landscaping, vehicle repair, vehicle restoring. And our goal is to create a channel that we're able to share the knowledge that we've learned over the years in different aspects. And hopefully we can make it educational for everybody and also entertaining. Uh, so to start out with, we'd, we'd like to just give you a brief tour of some of our equipment and then in the future we'll have videos that will be more in depth about the equipment we have and also projects we'll be uh, creating and completing using the equipment that we have. So uh, let's go to the tour. Okay, we're, we're going to do a quick walk through. I'll just kind of briefly talk about some of the equipment. Um, of course, I was a machinist most of my life, so I'm very familiar with metalworking and stuff. And, and uh, in our shop we have now, I have a vertical mill. Again, we'll, we'll have projects showing that. I, I have a, a 14 by 40 engine lathe with different uh, accessories for it. And again, we'll go more in depth as we go along. I have a small smithy uh, lathe mill combination machine. Uh, it's good for little projects. I don't use it a whole lot but it does come in handy sometimes as a machine for secondary operations. And of course, all the little support equipment you have with the, with the machinery, all the, the fixturing and tooling required to, to run each machine. And again, over time, we'll cover more and more of that. We have some projects that we kind of have already started. One of them in particular is, is we purchased this go-kart at a yard sale uh, a couple weeks ago. We bought it for our nine-year-old grandson. And, and it was pretty rough. You can see it's all in pieces right now. It actually had an electric motor on it originally. We're going to convert it over to a gas motor. We've got to do a little bit of repair. You can see on the frame where some of it's rusted away. We're going to have to replace some of that. Plus, we're going to have to add plates for the new uh, gas motor and everything. So there's going to be quite a bit of modifying on this along with just rebuilding. And then we'll, we'll go through the whole process of the painting. And hopefully, you'll get to see it run in a short amount of time. We have. A horizontal bandsaw to cut our materials. We have a little bit of stock on hand, not a whole lot, but um, it's amazing what you can make do with what you have. Of course, we have, you know, lawn equipment, uh, have a, a shear, a finger break. We have sand left cast capability. We, we have a small powder coating oven. That we, we do some powder coating with and again I'm hoping we'll be able to cover that in future episodes. We have a, a, a tractor that we just purchased five acres up here by the Ocala area in Florida and we're going to be doing projects out in the yard you know tree trimming and uh, different things that we'll be able to, to make videos on that also. We have several different welders from stick welding to MIG welding, TIG welding, and also plasma cutting. We have a four by eight foot CNC plasma table that we use quite a bit. We'll be showing some projects on it also as time, as time goes on. Also, if you ever have anything subject you'd like us to cover or you see that we do and you'd like more information on it, please email us or put comments in the, down in the videos below and we'll, we'll try to cover those subjects. So that's pretty much just a quick tour of the machine shop. This, this is our little wood shop. We're still in the process of getting everything set up, um, but we do have a um, wood lathe, we have a joiner planer, we have a, a planer, we have a table saw, we have the radial arm. So, I mean, we have a few uh, machines in here and I also have some over in my little uh, she shed that um, I'll take you over there and show you what I got over there. 
this is a continuation of my um, woodworking area. I have a chop saw and then I have a couple of sanders. I have a drill press, a router, and my bandsaw. Um, we just didn't have enough room in the other little shop to put everything in here, so it kind of extended into my craft area. And here I have uh, my tumbling items. I keep all of my um, different epoxies, everything. You know, I try to keep things as neat as possible. Um, for my tumblers, I found out that the uh, little footballs work very well for holding uh, my cups in place. Um, I have like all of my Cricut items over here for any type of vinyl that I, I cut out. I have all of my mats all organized for that, any of my cutting mats. I have my Cricut, my computer, my printer, and my heat press all over here. Um, I also have organized fairly well all of my types of glitter and things like that that I use for my cups. And then over on this wall, this is where I kind of start into my painting area. I have all of my paint and little tubs and bins so I can easily pull out a color and look for my exact color that I'm looking for. I try to organize all my little, you know, items that I may use, my seashells or my little sparkly balls or something like that. Um, I keep all of my little jewels and buttons and all of my little stuff like that on the tray so I can pull over where I'm working at that time if I need anything. Um, this area over here, I keep my ribbons and um, things like that for any material type items or my ribbons are in here. So they're all fairly easy to get to. Um, I have my sewing machine in the corner. Um, these are some things I've made in the past. I like to also do woodworking and toll painting. So um, I've done like the little welcome where I can change it season to season for the O's. And then uh, my little Frankie is one of my favorite ones. Um, hanging on the wall over there that I like to uh, <laughs> he's one of my favorite ones I always keep him hanging up because he always makes me smile and then I've also done stuff with welding which is nuts and bolts and random pieces of of material that's just something else I, I enjoy doing and right now my project is um, our, our daughter her in-laws have this nativity set that has passed, been passed down from generation to generation. And um, they were wanting me to fix it after Christmas because like this little guy, he was totally missing an ear. And I've been working at slowly adding layer after layer. I mean, that one's pretty close. I'm getting pretty close to finishing that one. The little bull yet, I need to do a little more work on him to get his little horn a little better. But most of the little, um, lambs and everything have ears missing some of the the um other people had fingers or different types of that missing and i just been doing plaster and a little bit of glue and then just slowly layering it um the little angel i think she was the worst one she actually had her wing totally broken off in two places and so i've been slowly replastering that and then i'm gonna have to sand it all down and and get it all painted so hopefully i can update you guys in a later video with how the progress is going on that. Thanks for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button and share with your friends. Have a great day. Bye.